Hi there and welcome to Panning with Kezia and this update for Pan of Green Gables. In this project I'm working on eight products that I'm trying to meet my goals on and they're all based on prompts from Pan of Green Gables. All the rules, creator, time frame, it's all in the description below so if you want to check that out please do so but let's get into this update shall we. The first thing I have been working on this month is this Karmix lip balm. And uh, I just wanted to take it out. I didn't do that last month because it's been difficult the last months. So let's just <laughs> put it that way. But um, yeah, this is all I have left. And just like last time, it's very difficult to get back in again. So I'm going to have to press it down and it's going to be a little bit messy. So I'll do that after this update. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is the progress that I've been making. So this is where I'm at now. This was where I was at two months ago, three months and four months ago. So I am getting very, very close. I was actually further down than I thought. So this will probably be empty within a, maybe two months. And I love that product. I love having it underneath whatever I'm wearing that day, whether it be a lipstick or a lip gloss or anything like that. It just makes it more smooth. I don't dry out. It's, it's just phenomenal to have underneath anything. <laughs> I don't think I have anything like it in my collection. It's not like a regular balm. Uh, it's way too messy for that. I wouldn't use it during nights because it really makes my lips feel like tacky in the morning. I'm like, mm, it doesn't feel very good. <laughs> but underneath other lip products, makeup, it's phenomenal. I love it. I've used that 35 times this month. So that is a lot. <laughs> Then we have the Lake of Shining Waters. I have this Glow Milk from the Beauty Crop. My goal was to use this a hundred times and I have used it a hundred times. I've actually used it 115 times in total and it is beginning to actually get very low. I feel like I might be at the bottom of this so I will really try to get this done this year. I really need to get this done this year. I'm trying to get something out of my collection from each and every category. I need to finish this. <laughs> so yeah, but so it will be rolling out from this project, but it will certainly roll in somewhere else or I will just use it just because. Then we have broken slate, something broken or damaged. I chose this pre glow up mist and um, I emptied it. It was a lot bigger bottle and I had broken that so I emptied it in this and I don't really want to make any marks because I want to use this bottle. Um, it is beautiful in here and it makes you a little bit shiny. I think this will be better now in the summer so I think I will have my best shot at getting this, well maybe not done but at least get a good, um, good dip. <laughs> it's not really a dip, is it? But uh, a good progress on this during summer. And uh, it does look pretty good and I think this will be very nice for shoulders and stuff and you know you will just have a little bit of a glow so <laughs> I think it will be nice. But this month I've only used it eight times which is more than last time. <laughs> Last month I only used it five times so I really need to get going on this because there aren't that many months left on this project. Then we have puffed sleeves, something bulky or excessive and I chose this Evoluderm body jelly. I have used this quite a lot actually. I have used this well six times. That's a lot for me but I was rather thinking about you know this progress compared to that little progress. <laughs> So yeah, and I know that body jellies, body butters, body lotions, whatever you call it, <laughs> they go very fast as long as I use them. You know, when I use them, I use them a lot, but I just don't tend to actually do it. That's why they're still here. Like that's why they take a long time for me to finish. But I will finish it, I am sure. The next thing is for Matthew Cuthbert, something sweet, the hula. Benefit bronzer. This is only three grams 
and I still haven't hit pan. I have had this in here for the entire uh, time that I've been doing this project. What is it from? Yeah, from February until now and no pan. <laughs> That's insane. How many times have I used it? I've used it 99 times. I've used this almost a hundred times and I don't even have pan on it. Um, but I am getting a good dip over here. Maybe you can see um, more of the pan there, but I don't really have a good way to show progress on this, but I do feel like I could hit pan any day now. And I have been ex expecting it the last week or so that, you know, any brush stroke now, any day now, <laughs> I will hit pan, but it's not happening, so I don't know. I really hope I can get to at least hitting pan before this project ends and then finish it up in the end of the year. But my initial thought was that I wanted to use it up during this project, but I don't think I'll be able to <laughs> anymore. And last but not least, we have the Essence by Urtikram, and this is for Marilla Cuthbert with a hard exterior and soft interior. Cream or liquid product with hard packaging. That's a mouthful. Um, yeah, as you can see, I have a lot more progress this month than that month. So I'm happy with that progress. I hope to get it done by the end of this update or uh, <laughs> by the end of this project. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure I will get it done by the end of the year, so I'm not concerned about that one. And I thought that was my update, but I realized that I actually skipped over the empty. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Why did I do that? I don't know. But we have Gilbert Blythe, something starting with the letter G. And I have the Skin & Company Roma, the Face Gommage, and I actually emptied it out this month. So this is rolling out, this one is rolling out, and we only have four products left in this project. So I hope you enjoyed this update, and I hope I'll see you next time. Have a good evening. Bye!